Hey everybody, Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. Gonna check out some more cool inventory tonight. This is a 1930 or 31 Ford Model A four door. Really pretty decent bones on this car, so we're gonna check this thing out and take a look at it. If you got any questions about this Model A or any of the other 1500 cars and trucks we've got on the ground here, just give me a call, 620-786-4428. Having that short conversation about your project or, and what you need for it, year, make, model, body style, and the specific parts. I need all that information to know if I have something here that might help you out. This little Model A here, really pretty decent bones on this car. For the most part, it's intact. There's a few little pieces that are missing, but you can see right here on the front, it's pretty much all here. These headlights, I don't know if these are original headlights or not, but they're pretty cool. They say BLC headlamp on them. And this one's missing the lens, but this has a really cool little tiny lens up on top of here, maybe for like a turn signal. Grill shell, the chrome's weak, but it's not beat up or rusted out. It has the original badge. Front splash panel's there, front bumper's there. I mean, a really great looking nose, good start to a hot rod on this thing. We'll kind of work our way around this old Model A. And we see the fenders and all the way down, the running board's all still pretty much here. This fender cracked at some point like a lot of them did and was attempted to be repaired, but they didn't do a real clean job on it. But hey, that's happened, that happened back in the day. They just had to get it fixed so it didn't get any worse and that's what happened to a lot of them. But overall, still, like I said, it's pretty much here. Windshield frame, visor, the doors are all here. We look around the base of this car, even at the base of the cowl, it's not all rotted out. The side skirts aren't rotted out. The running boards aren't rotted out. It's got a few little spots of rust here and there, but overall, it really looks pretty good. Even back here on the rear body section, we can kind of peek up under here. Even around here, it looks good and solid. Work away on around the back. The rear whole rear body looks pretty good. Of course, with this custom rear bumper on it, it was somewhat protected. <laughs> on the back side here, because that's a pretty heavy duty rear bumper that somebody added onto this thing. Still even has the tail light here, and it even looks original because the bracket and the paint on the bracket and everything looks original on the tail light. This thing here is super cool, this little glass three red reflector that was right there on the tag bracket and the tail light, also really cool piece. Well, coming around the left side of this car, kind of the same thing. Really looks pretty solid. The doors are here, the body looks good. The fenders, dings, dents, cracks, but no serious rot really at all. We've got a little bit of rust in the running board right down here. But overall, not a lot. We can take a peek inside here. Now, the dash and everything is still in it, plus a whole bunch of the extra pieces right down in here with it. A lot of the pieces that are removable, the B pillars, a lot of the inside door parts, all that stuff stacked in here inside the car. So most of it is here. I can't guarantee you every single piece is here, but an awful lot of this car is actually still here. Even some of the stuff that you see missing is actually just in here, just loose. But another thing is we look inside the body from here, we can look over there at the other side at the fender well. We can look at the back part of the body. We can see the inside and outside of this thing, and we just don't see a ton of rust. Even right down here on the inside of the left rear fender well just not a lot of rust in this whole body anywhere. We come up over here, same thing on the cowl. We got a little bit of rust in the side skirt there under the cowl, but the cowl looks good. Under the hood, it's there, but the head's loose. I'm sure none of the drivetrain's any good, but all the drivetrain is still there and intact. Just obviously weathered, probably not any good, but realistically, you know, it's a good shell. And that's what a lot of guys are looking for on these old Model A's. So, kind of a neat old car. This hood hinge is loose, but we can take a peek under here. Has the uh, heater manifold on it, so it would blow warm air into the car. Kind of an interesting feature on this particular one. But, like I said, overall, really good bones on this one. Minimal rust. Great look. We should take a step back at this thing and just look at the patina on this old car. It would make a super cool hot rod, make a great start to a great project for somebody. It's getting kind of tough to find these that are still fairly intact where you've got good sheet metal to work with, and that's kind of what we've got on this old Model A. So, kind of a neat old car. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
If you like old cars and trucks like this, be sure to check out the channel, Nobody Show. Click that subscribe button and definitely click that notification button. We do a lot of cool live stuff on here. You won't want to miss it. Like I said earlier, if you got any questions about this Model A or any of the other 1,500 plus cars and trucks we've got on the ground, just give me a call, 620-786-4428. As always, thanks for watching. We got so much more cool stuff coming in. I got tons of cool rides coming in that we're going to be bringing you more content on soon. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. So definitely click that subscribe button so you can keep up with what we've got going on. Hope you enjoyed the Model A. It's a super cool car. I think it's got a really bright future. If nothing else, there's still a lot of great parts on this thing that are definitely going to help other people with their builds. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you soon on the next video.